Well, you're probably wondering why we called you here today. <laughs> we start many of the discussions like that with our kids Sunday afternoons or just any time of the week uh, when we wanted to talk to them. But Jennifer and I decided that, you know, well, let's make a video and explain to you how our, our kids' names came about and where they came from. Who are we going to start with? Well, let's start, start, well, with, the start with the oldest and okay. work our way down. Okay. The way Ruby's name came about is my mother's name is Ruby Lenore. And when she was in grade school, her family, her dad just decided we're going to start calling her Lenore instead of Ruby. They thought that Ruby, at the time, they thought that was just a little girl's name. And they thought as she got older, she should be named Lenore. And when I was, oh, probably 14, 13, I remember my mom saying, why did they do that? Why didn't they just call me Ruby? And she, she told me, there was kind of a kick she, she got on and she told my dad, you start calling me Ruby. And she, <laughs> she bought herself a new car and she got a license plate that said Ruby on it. And I, it, something clicked in my head about that time that when I have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Ruby. And on top of that, my mom had a, a beautiful Ruby ring that she used to let me wear on Sundays and one Sunday I, I wore it and I forgot to take it off and when I went to give it back to her that night she told me that she wanted me to keep that ring and, and I, I think she probably knew that I was very fond of yeah. the name Ruby and she just wanted me to keep that ring so it was well, very special. Yeah. That's how Ruby yeah, got, got her, her name. name. Ruby was named long before she was even thought of. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Bo, that kind of falls into the same category. I, did I name any of our kids? Yes, you did. But I named <laughs> Bo Bo. <laughs> but Bo, he got his name again from Jennifer. Uh, she had a long. I have had crush. a crush on <laughs> Bo Bridges my entire life. And again, when I was in my teens, I watched the movie. Uh, other the other side, side the other side of the mountain. And Bo Bridge just starred in it and oh <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with him and I just have always liked the name Bo. Um, yeah. So that's where Bo got his name. And a funny story. My sister sisters and sister in law, they were all having babies. I was still a teenager. And I don't know if if this is where my sister-in-law heard the name, maybe she went to the movie too and fell in love with Bo. But I knew, oh, I'm gonna name a child Bo when I have kids. Well, the next thing I knew, my sister-in-law says, she was gonna have this baby. And she said that they were gonna name him Bo. And I think I came unglued. I'm like, you can't, you can't have that name. That's my name. So that's where Bo yeah. got his name. Yep. So Bonnie, Bonnie, okay. you go ahead and tell. Well, that I'm story. I'm trying to think. Uh, we probably should. Have. <laughs> we should have talked about this yeah. before, but I we're pretty yeah. close. Yeah. I'll, I'll correct him yeah. if he's wrong. We we were watching a movie. There was a series on TV back when we were, you know, newlyweds and we we're uh, having kids. And I think it was it was a Night Rider. Oh, okay, that one too. Yeah, but I thought yeah, there was yeah, a couple of them. There there was a, a character on on this uh, TV series. Talking car, it was yeah, a talking yeah. car. I think it was Knight Rider. Anyway, she was a cute gal, and I and her name was Bonnie, and, and I thought, well, that's, I like the name. And, but that, and that's only part of it. That's a small part of where we got Bonnie's name from. Uh, and that kind of helped me. Uh, well, weren't we watching a movie one time, and, and the gal in it, it was one of these like chick flick type movies, and the gal was named Bonnie. And she was really cute, really pretty. And we were talking about the name Bonnie again then. And yeah. I says, I have an Aunt Bonnie. And she yeah. is, she was just gorgeous. Just My real aunt, pretty. I always thought Bonnie was just beautiful, classy yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, and, and to sum it up, you know, a lot of pretty women that we knew had the name Bonnie. And we just thought it would be very appropriate name. to give a cute little gal. Name Bonnie. And it, Fits her, just yeah. Oh yeah. Fits yeah. her. Yeah. So. Julie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That that's a, a funny story. Uh, Jennifer and her sister 
were expecting babies uh, at the same time. And, and back in the day, man, that was a long, long time we ago. We didn't know what we were having. They didn't have ultrasounds, and if they, they did, but it was very rare that you actually yeah, went in to, like to have before. one. So all of the genders that we had, we couldn't do gender reveals back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we just waited until they were born. But they were both expecting, you know, with give or take a, a month or so. Weeks. <clears throat> Weeks. And one day they had gotten together and well, decided. We, went, we were at the hospital. My mom was at the hospital. Oh, okay. And we were right, visiting right. my mom at the hospital and just having a good laugh and visiting and having fun. And yeah, anyway. well, they, so they, they agreed that if you name your baby Julie. Uh, I'll name my baby I'll, Jennifer. And her sister yeah, would name her that's Jennifer. That's a good idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name my baby Julie and you name yours Jennifer. Yeah. And so that was the pact that they had. Yeah. And uh, anyway, Julie, her sister, found out a few weeks, a month or so before she had hers that it was actually going to be a boy. Yeah. Uh, she had had an ultrasound for whatever reason. Yeah. And so she was afraid to tell <laughs> Jennifer that because she wanted Jennifer she to name her little baby, <laughs> Julie, Julie, after her. I wouldn't have changed that though, yeah. even if I'd have known. But it's really funny because I had Julie, and a week later, she, she had, had Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we would have still named Julie Julie, however. Yeah, and that name seems to fit it her. Just, fits just her. well, all their names fit her. Just, all Julies you know. are kind. Yeah. They are strong, independent, smart, smart. smart Okay, fresh battery. Yes. Where were we? Well, Let, I think we were watching with, Dallas. <laughs> Let, let's start over with Ellie. Okay. So, Ellie it had to be able to roll off. Ruby Bow, Bonnie, Julie, and something had to go with that to sound smooth. Yeah. And we had several names when we went to the hospital. And Ellie was one of them. Mm -hmm. But then there was also a couple of other ones that you I was toying really around sure with. Of. And when I, I mentioned the one to the nurse, and she's mm -hmm. like, oh, mm -hmm. please. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. says, don't. She's everybody. Like, don't, don't. That's, no. Everybody's naming their babies that. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay. And I kept going back to Ellie, and there was another, um, well, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to say the names. There was a couple other ones. And um, when Chad was working swings. I used to watch Dallas. I loved Friday nights yeah. and put the kids to bed, have myself a treat. Chad was at work and I would watch Dallas and I loved watching that show. And on the show, the grandma was called Ellie Mae. Mm -hmm. And I loved her, Ellie Mae. And I thought that's a cute name for a little girl, but it's also a beautiful name for a grown woman. It's a very um, sweet name, I yeah. thought. Yeah. But I didn't think that she was an Ellie May. Mm. I just thought she was an, just Ellie. an Ellie. Yeah. So we, yeah. we just narrowed it down to Ellie in yeah. the hospital before yeah. we brought her home. But it took the whole time we were there. Of course, I wasn't there at the hospital very long. But, yeah. but I wasn't really sure about it I until we got her home. Were we there less than 24 hours? Or that was yeah. uh, Julie that we were oh, in had, and out of the hospital. It was kind of like a drive-by deliveries. Yeah. But anyway, we got her home, and definitely she was an Ellie. And oh, yeah. Ellie has been day. the <laughs> she has been the icing on the cake. Yeah. She's the frosting. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but we just thought it would be fun to share with you how our children got their names, and we just think they're pretty, pretty cute kids. They're pretty. They're yeah. not kids anymore, though. Oh yeah, yeah. They've all heard these stories a yeah, uh, hundred times, and you've probably heard them too from, uh, from them as well. But uh, we just thought it would be nice to yeah. sit by the fire. It's kind of stormy outside. Reminisce and, about our little, you know, little, little children's. Little chickens running around mm -hmm. that we know. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, our kids are something uh, special to Jennifer and I. We, you know, and, and I think all parents, I hope all parents think that their kids are something special. And, we love their names. We think that they represent them well. And, you know, whatever name you have, uh, make, make your, that name mean something.
you know, whoever you're named after, make them proud of what you've done with their name. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. This is very important. I need to slip this in here. Um, when I was expecting Ruby, she was due in December, and she, I kept going over. I was going over the due date, and I was like, I wanted to have her. She was, any mother that's going over her due date is like, I've got to have this baby. And my mom is like, oh, well, maybe you'll have her on my birthday. I'm like, no, mom, I'm not having her on your birthday. Her birthday was the 18th of January, and I was due, I think, the 23rd, 27th of December. I'm like, no, I am not waiting until January. I had Ruby on my mother's birthday, and we were already planning on naming her Ruby, so that just really solidified that I was to have this little girl to name her Ruby, and she was born on my mother's birthday. It makes it very, very special, and I think my mom thought she was very, very special too.